All right, today we're taking a look at this heavy duty storage rack here. And it's important you watch this whole video, that way you know the best tips and tricks in order to get it installed quickly and efficiently. It is important to note that this was given to me for demonstration purposes, but the opinion is my own and I am very happy with how it turned out. It's actually a solution that I've been needing for quite some time. This arrived neatly packed in a, in a box that was uh, you know, about the size of a basketball and it had each piece kind of individually wrapped. So the bubble wrap would cover one side, flip up, slide another one in, flip down. And so overall the pieces were very well protected. And then after you open it uh, just a little bit, you could see that the instructions and the hardware was in there. The hardware, it does have extra pieces. So when you're done, don't stress it. Um, it's, it's actually very helpful if you accidentally strip one of the Allen screws or anything like that, then you'll be able to, you know, obviously swap it out for a good one. Overall, this rack has three different sections, both vertical sections and then horizontal sections. So we see we have two sets of wire shelves up top, and then we have a set of metal trays down below. And then finally on the, the bottom, we have a bunch of tool hangers here. And you can see I've got my various tools hung upside down, and those tools are also um, hung with and without batteries. Now, if you have a very big battery on there, it is not going to um, fit and it's probably going to bump the shelf above it, but most normal size batteries um, that you see something like this uh, should fit just fine. Now what I love about this is that it has lots of flexibility with what you put on here. They do have a weight rating of up to 600 pounds. I don't know how anyone in their right mind could get 600 pounds on here, but it gives me confidence. Let's say I put a 100 or 200 pounds on there, I'll be confident that it's well within its weight limits. Now putting it together, um, I made a couple mistakes and so I had to rebuild it. And I thought it was super important that I'd call that out for you. Uh, down below, I've got the, the hyperlapse of me putting this thing together. Keep in mind that was the first version. I had to take it apart and swap some pieces. So the first thing to note is that when you put it together, um, these brackets here, these vertical brackets, it's really important that you have it to where the mount is facing towards the outside of the rack. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna give you 16 inch spacing. That way when you install it, you're able to hang on every single stud. And you know, that way, um, you know, if you've got 16 inch studs, this is, this is really important. Um, if you get them backwards, you're gonna have like 17 and some change, and then it's not gonna line up very well, meaning you're probably only gonna get the last two mounts into studs. And you know, ultimately something like this, I don't wanna use anchors. It comes with anchors, but I, I, I wanna hit the studs and make sure it's nice and solid. The second mistake I made was that um, the wire on the top, um, it has horizontal uh, wire that goes across, and then it has one supporting wire that goes across the bottom. And somehow I got every single one of them upside down, but I did go around and flip everything back over because I did want a nice and flat surface. Finally, once I had it built, it was actually really easy to install. You can see that I did it on my own and I kind of cheated. So first I went and I marked my studs. And then after that, I kind of just picked a starting point of where I wanted um, the rack to lay. So I put one screw in and then I put the level on top, leveled it, marked where my next screw was gonna go. And once I got the top two screws on the corners put in, you could see I just used a drill bit extender, um, kind of like this right here. And it gave my drill enough reach that I was able to zip the rest of the screws in. And a personal preference of mine, I don't like trying to line up screws, especially eight of them, and then put something on the wall and shift it down. I find it a daunting task. I've never been great at it. Um, so by having those two screws in place and the, the rack already safe in its uh, position, I was just able to zip the screws in in the exact spot with this, and I didn't have to worry about the drill hitting the rack gave me enough access. So pro tip, maybe you have a better way of doing it, but that's the way it worked best for me. And it really made the process easy. I haven't finished filling up the rack yet. I need to really take a good look at how I'm going to organize my tools, but I can tell you it's already cleaning things up for me. And I'm very happy about it. Finally, one of my favorite features as well is on the side that it has the tool hangers. Now I only put two up because you can see I've got the other side going into a corner but I'm able to use the hooks and as well as the screwdriver holders, which I could also put things like pliers and other stuff on it like that. If this is something you're looking for. I do highly recommend it. If this is something you're interested in purchasing, there is an affiliate link down below, which helps supports the channel. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and like it. Comment down below if you have any questions. I'll do my best to get those answered. And most importantly, have a great day.